today we're going to be talking about achieving focus with data. Before we crack on with that, I thought we'd, we'd play a little game to see who knows what this is. Metallica, yeah. It's the, the 1988 vinyl cover to Metallica's single for One, which was famously on Injustice for All album. I'm sure you all know it. Um, and of course, the reason that we're talking about this is the link that I, I guess you've all figured out by now is today we're going to be talking about the one metric that matters. <laughs> the one metric that matters. Um, and in my mind, the one metric that matters is the, the metric that best describes or most effectively describes the single biggest pain that your business is feeling at that moment in time. And it changes over time. So we might look to uh, the business life cycle, which might typically look like this as a business transforms from a startup to uh, you know, a growing business, a more maturing business, and as they go through their, their process of product innovation, new product cycles, and so on, they will experience very different pains over that time. And the one metric that matters is the one that most effectively describes the biggest problem that the business is experiencing at any moment in time. So, for example, uh, you know, a startup might be much more focused at product, finding the right product to bring to the market, finding the right audience for that product. A much more established, mature business might be looking at retention to, to make sure that, that um, the customer base that they've developed over many years is being retained effectively. If we take a look for a moment at the world of manufacturing, you might come across the theory of constraints. And this theory says that the, um, any time spent not focusing on the biggest bottleneck of your business, focusing on the thing that's slowing you down, is effectively time wasted because you're still going to have this bottleneck um, in, in your business. Another way to look at it is if you imagine a group of hikers, the, the group is only ever going to travel as fast as the slowest person in the group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not nice. Another way to look at it might be this. So it, it, Traditionally, this theory of constraints comes from, from the world of manufacturing. If you imagine this as a conveyor belt, you can see here that C is the slowest. Flip on its side, that's, that's your, your marketing funnel. Yeah? So identifying the bottleneck in your business is the first step to achieving success. If we go back to uh, the examples we were looking at around product growth and retention, um, the kinds of things, the metrics that you might typically be looking at in these areas, average review scores, product return rates, the number of sign-ups you can get for your brand new holding page before your product is launched, these are much more around kind of product. Growth might be looking at active users, net promoter score, uh, and things like that. And retention is going to be much more around the metrics related to things like churn rate, lifetime value, and repeat custom. If you're not quite sure where to start with identifying your biggest pain point, hopefully you, know, you speak to enough people and it will jump out at you, you'll understand what the biggest problem is. But if you're not quite sure, maybe start taking a look at some of these metrics, put them in a matrix, heat map them, whatever works for you, to pull out the ones that you think you should be focusing on. And you might be asking, having done that matrix, why would we only look at one metric? We've got this amazing report that's telling us churn rate and net promoter score and growth rate and retention rate and lifetime value and all these kinds of things. Shouldn't we look at all of that and, and keep an eye on the bigger picture? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> Remember, you're only as fast as the biggest bottleneck. <laughs> so to wrap this all up into one uh, kind of, dare I say the word, actionable framework that will help you to put this um, into action, um, I suggest that we follow the following structure. Um, you might find that as your business grows, obviously this, uh, this framework um, might be specific to one team, um, but as a, as a smaller business, this, this would typically be organization-wide. So ask yourself, what is the one metric that matters? What is our biggest pain point at the moment? Use analysis to understand what should we be doing about it. So this is where your, um, your testing tools, your user surveys come in, understanding what could we be doing. It's hypothesis generation. What could we be doing about it? Use testing to prove whether it worked or not, whether you are actually resolving or solving the problem. Report back to the business on what's going on and iterate. Define the strategy going forwards. Thank you very much.